There's one view of us as biological creatures that we are determined by our genes, that what we see in our biology is somehow innately us because of who we were born to be. What that misses is that we grow up and develop. We grow up as children, we grow up as adults and continue. We interact constantly with the world in which we are engaged. That's the way in which our biology actually happens. We carry our history in our bodies. How else could, how could we not? Living in America should be a ticket to good health. We have the highest gross national product in the world. I'm very happy to finally have some of my cars in one location, some of them. We spend $2 trillion per year on medical care. That's nearly half of all the health dollars spent in the world. But we've seen our statistics. We live shorter, often sicker lives than in any other industrialized country. We rank 30th in life expectancy. Especially of economically developed countries, we are at the bottom of the list. A higher percentage of our babies die in their first year of life than in Malta, Slovenia, Cyprus. How can this be? Is this just because 47 million of us have no health insurance? Healthcare can deal with the uh, diseases and illnesses, but a lack of healthcare is not the um, cause of illness and disease. It is like saying, since um, aspirin cures uh, a fever, that the uh, lack of aspirin must be the cause of the fever. Or is it mostly because of our American diet and personal health behaviors? Those behaviors themselves, in part, determined by economic status. And so our ability to avoid smoking and eat a healthy diet depends, in turn, uh, on our access to income, education, and what we call the social determinants of health. But wouldn't our genes trump social determinants of health? Among twins who live together until age 18, who basically grew up in the same households, so had at least a relatively similar exposure. If they diverged later in life, if one became professional and the other was working class, they ended up with different health status as adults. This is among identical twins. Written into our bodies is a lifetime of experience, shaped by social conditions and policies that can determine who will be sicker, who will die sooner. There are ways in which our society is organized that are bad for our health. Uh, and there's no doubt that we could reconfigure ourselves in ways that would benefit our health. There are huge inequalities in the society. All this wealth is maldistributed. Pet food, ice for the pet's water. And I think that's in part why the US as a whole has relatively poor health amongst the rich countries, and why even the better of people are suffering. And we think that that is not inevitable.